Just a quick little video on independence and mutual exclusion. So um, two events are independent, so if A and, B, A and B are independent, then you get the following. The probability of the intersection of them, so that's the probability that both things happen at the same time, is equal to the probability of A on its own multiplied by the probability of B on its own. So what does this look like in a question? So when rolling a dice, are the events of rolling more than a three and rolling an odd number independent? Would one affect the other? That's what we're looking at for independence, is, is one reliant on the other? Is one affected by the other one's outcome? Okay, so mathematically we want to work that out. So first of all, the probability of getting more than a three, well, there's two numbers. No, there isn't. There are three numbers that are more than a three, a four, a five, or a six. So the probability of getting one of those is three out of six or a half. Then we have the probability of getting an odd number. Well, that's also three out of six. We can have a one, a three, or a five. So that is also a half. The probability of getting greater than three um, intersection with odd, so that's both things satisfied at the same time. So numbers more than three and also odd, well, there's only one of them, it's a five. So the chance of getting that is one out of six. Now we want to check if that rule above in yellow um, is true to see if they're independent or not. So if we multiply a half by a half, we get a quarter. So it's probability of A times probability of B, the, the two blue bits that we did. Um, so those independent, you know, separately of each other, multiplied together makes a quarter. And we compare that to see, is it equal to the probability of the both of them happening together? Which, of course, it's not. It's not equal to a sixth. So therefore, that rule doesn't hold and these events are not independent of each other. Next thing to look at is mutual exclusion. Now, this is when um, two things can't happen together. Uh, that, that we call them mutually exclusive. So, for example, when rolling a dice, if we get a three and get an even number, those two things are mutually exclusive. They can't happen at the same time. There are no possibilities that would satisfy both of those things. We can't get a three and also get an even number in one roll of the dice. However, um, the events get a three and get an odd number, are not mutually exclusive because of course three is odd so if we roll a three we would, we would be satisfying both of those things now if things are mutually exclusive it means that the probability of getting both of those hip things happening together so the intersection of a and b will be zero it's not possible and this also means that the probability of A or B, so the union of A and B, is just simply to add the two things together because they're so completely separate. Um, there's no overlap to think about. We would just add up the two probabilities to find the probability of one or the other happening.